<clears throat> okay, it's almost 5 a.m. I just want to make a few comments about this cold. As you can see, there's a bunch of frost on the windows. It's extremely cold. Well, it's very cold, all right. And I feel like it's easier to deal with this cold in this drier, more desert, temperate, temperate desert area. It's just the air in, in, in my clothes, my skin, everything just, it, I think it's a little drier and it seems like it's easier to stay warm. I notice a big difference. I mean, it, this frost is the same frost that you would see on the west side. I think it's a, of the Cascade Mountains, of the mountains. And I had to bundle up a lot more. Uh, with this same kind of frost when I was like in Yelm or in Eatonville. I think the dryness has a lot to do with it. I mean, uh, it, dryness has a lot to do with heat as well. The, the dry, hot desert air is supposed to be easier to handle than the muggy, uh, high uh, moisture areas. Um, <clears throat> But dry air isn't the only solution. You know, like with the, if you want to cool the air, um, well, you're supposed to add some moisture to it, I guess. Or take, no, take the, get a good, a good dehumidifier uh, for the summertime, dry out the air inside your house, and then, and then uh, cool it. That's supposed to help with uh, keeping things uh, cooler, or I think so, something like that. Well, either way, the dryness seems to help, but it's not the ultimate solution, of course. Uh, when I lived in Wisconsin, it, uh, it got extremely dry in the winter time, and, it, and um, humidity got extremely high in the summer. Whereas on the west side of the mountains of Washington, especially on the coast, it, got, uh, it gets extremely wet in the winter time. Whereas it gets ex pretty dry in the summertime, so this this uh, the area on the east side of the mountains though is is different, it's very different. It pretty much stays dry year round, but the raininess does increase, of course, for this for the winter time. But it's I, I think it might be raining on the west side of the mountains and uh, it's it's been clear skies for the past couple of days here um, but uh, you know, once again the uh, the dry air isn't the ultimate solution because in Wisconsin uh, it got dry it got so dry that my sinuses were bleeding I just I would blow bloody snots and it got worse every year I just I couldn't handle it. It's just a lot of that moisture, the, a lot of that lack of moisture came from heating the house. Um, when I used to live in a house, I'd use a, a vent system where it'd blow hot air all around the house, and when it got to like negative 30, it felt impossible to breathe. It's just so dry. I, I needed more. I needed more humidity. I needed to to get better moisture in in the air and I believe I've heard there's some kind of like moisturizing uh, units that you could put in your heating ducts but I didn't really have the money for that um, that would cause my my sinuses to bleed I'm not bleeding yet from noticeably from dryness here uh, in Yakima um, but if it does get colder, which it can, because the lows, uh, the record lows um, fall below zero, from what I understand on Wikipedia, then that could be an issue. I could still get frostbite here uh, with this dry cold, but um, it, it generally stays more stable. Well... <laughs> Once again, it can fluctuate 50 degrees in a day here, whereas in Wisconsin I only experienced a 30 degree fluctuation. I guess I mean, uh, stable as in year round or something. It's different, but it's, it's dry air and uh, it's, it's easier, it seems easier to keep warm, but I have been eating more too. 
Uh, it's a lot of factors.